Hi folks, it's me again with another one of my videos. Now in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can back up, well, how you can back up and restore your XPMC slash Cody. Now, I do currently have a video out there that's, that does demonstrate how to do the same process, but this is an alternative to that method. So, uh, what you're going to need is your file explorer that came with your device. Like for instance, I have a Android device I'm, de I'm demonstrating on, and if for some reason you can't find that file explorer you can also go to the play store and then download ES file explorer and you should be good to go but I'm going to use the one that came with the device so you're going to the file explorer you go into device storage Android data and then you're gonna scroll down till you see this folder here now if you have Cody it will look just like this if you have XBMC it's gonna say org.xbmc so you go into that folder, files, and this is the folder you want to back up. Now, if it's an XBMC, it will say .xbmc, not .cody. Since it says Cody, that's why it says Cody. Uh, word of advice is to tether your or connect your laptop or your sorry, connect your device to a laptop or desktop computer, so that way you can back up this folder or up upload it to your Dropbox. And the reason for that is because if something happens to your device maybe it gets damaged lost or stolen you can always have a backed up copy of your um, xbmc slash cody media center so uh, but for demonstrating purposes i'm going to do it on this device and that's also helpful if you want to um, i say you want to reinstall your xbmc or x or cody you can go ahead and restore it with the backed up copy that's on the device itself but no matter what, you should always have an external backup, like I said, Dropbox or your laptop or desktop computer. So what you would do is hold on to it, just so it's selected. Press copy. And like for instance, I'm going to device storage. And let's say I choose media. And I would paste it here. Now I'm not going to paste it because for my backup, it will take roughly 5 to 10 minutes. And that's because of all the data I have in there. So uh, for the sake of the video, I don't want it to just to drag out, but you would paste it into an easy to find location like that. Once that's done, uh, once you have that copy, you can go ahead and let's say you need to reinstall Cody or XPMC, or let's say you have a new device, go ahead and run XPMC or the Cody and let that go through the full process. So that way all the folders and files and um, settings are in place. Once that's done, you can exit out of XBMC, just close out completely. Then you're gonna go back into the File Explorer. Um, go into Device, Android, Data, and you're gonna go back down to that folder, Files, and then this folder here, it'll be one there. Uh, it's always gonna be one there by default with a fresh install. But since you have your backed up already, your, your copy that's backed up, you wouldn't need this one here because this one is a basic one. It won't have all your information in there. So you can go ahead and delete it. But I'm not going to do it, of course. Once that's deleted, this directory will be empty. So now you're going to go back to that place where you have it backed up or, or um, copied over. Yeah, save that or copy. Once, that's, once you find that location again, you copy it. And then you're going to paste it in here. Once that's pasted in there, you're good to go. You go ahead and run your XBMC slash Cody. And you're going to notice that all of your add-ons and settings will be right in place. Pretty much not losing a heartbeat. And that takes care of that. So, yeah, it's, it's another method upon for the one I already have out there. Please let me know your thoughts, your um, issues, or your successes. And I, um, I truly appreciate you watching. Uh, I do hope that you would click like. Um, subscribe to my channels and also share the video. I would truly appreciate that. Also be on the lookout for more of my videos as I will continue to post them as they come to mind. Thanks for watching again and um, see you later.